Dream Widow. Dream Widow. Uh, so, this project has something to do with the movie I have yet to see. And the fact that this album unfortunately had to come out just hours before the unfortunate, timely de untimely death of one Taylor Hawkins of Foo Fighters, which is where this is related. Why it's related in terms of Foo Fighters is because this involves Dave Grohl. This is not his first foray into the metal world. In fact, I recently just, now months ago, after almost 18 years, though currently kind of 17 years, um, Probot was a thing. Apparently he's also dirked with Tenacious D, of which Jack Black, a member of that band, was also involved in the Probot project. And he's apparently been said to have actually worked with Ghost as one of the Nameless Ghouls. So, as one of the guitar Nameless Ghoul guitarists, specifically, I apologize for whoever's making the music that don't matter. Um, <laughs> anyways, as far as this is, this project is only eight tracks. Cold being one of the better tracks of this record, um, for sure, that you kind of hear a little bit of, as well as the basically the one, two, three punch of this album to me is Encino, is of course Encino, which is more napalm deathy, sort of Grand Corey, sort of just in your fucking face. I don't care for Grand Corey much. I don't like this track, and that's saying something. Cold is very much. A lot of people are, like, from what I heard from uh, Melodal Meltdown, he compared this more to early Crowbar, like early 90s, pre-broken glass Crowbar. Pre-broken glass Crowbar. I wish they turned down. But anyways, pre-broken glass Crowbar, uh, which, eh, having gone through the discography, yeah. Um, yeah. um, more on that eventually. I will do a short thing on that one eventually when I get to talking about it. But for now, this record, I've, you know, given I had heard, it was better than, like, what we got from Foo Fighters recently, which this, the basis of this is a fictional band within this movie, Studio 666, and it's the basis of the, and some of the ideas that happen in this it's clear that it was supposed to come out last month, around February 22nd. This has come out in this past Friday instead, which is literally a month after, because he wanted to finish this up, and he missed some deadlines. Dave Grohl did. I feel like it was worth whatever wait that it was. I wasn't... Whenever it was going to release, I was expecting whatever we got since March of the Insane, which is... They were saying it was Death Thrash, but that's far not accurate rather it's more of a it has way more other elements black and doom uh all these other things going on for it um but it's just it's got more and even to the percent of the sludge doom kind of thing which is what cold is to me um March of the insane i guess matches the death thrash aspect Maybe not to the extent of what I got out of Mr. Bungle's recent uh, re-recording of their demo record, um, which wound up becoming their fourth studio album. Uh, I'd say I prefer that a little bit, but for what this is, it's still pretty solid, dude. Like, this is... This is... Yeah. Yeah, this is the first great thing Grill's put out in a while and... and related wise that he's put it out in a long while and I really do enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. So um and definitely like probably the giving a lot of it does have its foo fighterisms clearly because of the relation to the movie, I guess. And his and it's not that he hasn't been able to showcase and kind of escape it, which he's shown through Probot that it can work. Uh, this time, he doesn't have big names in the metal community vocally to help him. He's doing this himself, all of most of this, like he had with Probot and the self-titled Foo Fighters record. Or Foo Fighters self-titled debut, I should say. But, and I've, I was impressed from the beginning, and I thought I was going to get a masterclass from the first couple of tracks. 
Sweet Abyss is pretty solid as well. Um, I think the... Th and it has a decent course that works for itself. But Angels with Severed Wings has a course that I'm, like, not so sure on. But everything else I do like about it. Uh, Come All Ye F Unfaithful is pretty solid. Becoming is even uh, one of the more longer tracks. Lacrimas de Ebrius. If I'm pronouncing that right, it might be in Latin, I'm not sure. But it is mostly an instrumental outro that they, where they kind of come, he come, glocks all these ideas together musically, becoming a, you could tell some of these things are meant to fit within the history of the Studio 666 movie. I need to see this. From what I hear, that movie's a bit niche. I had a feeling it would be in the sense that it was meant for Foo Fighters fans, or at least any Foo Fighters fans that understood that their sense of humor can align pretty well with Tenacious D's. Um, and it's a horror comedy, so I'm getting, like, Evil Dead 2 more so, uh, which has more of a sense of humor than whatever Evil Dead itself was, from what I hear. That Sam Raimi era, Evil Dead 2, and maybe Army of Darkness, uh, to an extent, meets, meets, like, Pick a Destiny, in terms of, like, the kind of humor that's brought in. Um, is what I get from, the, uh, the idea of that movie, and from what I hear, it's pretty much that. Uh, but for the most part, this album, though, I, I overall, this album freaking rocks. I want to say it's Masterclass, but, or at least I was hoping it would be. It fell off a little bit, but I did, it eventually gets back in itself. It, it kind of goes in even into Black and Doom territory a little bit, with things like Becoming. Um, come on, you fit unfaithful a little bit as well. And then you get this massive doom, and La Cruz de Embarius is a nice long doom cut. Um, I'd say more, more so I find the first three tracks to be the strongest to me. Uh, I might put Come On You Faithful and Sweet Abyss up there as well. But so far overall, I mean, Angel with Severed Wings Chorus, I could just take or leave. But for the most part, I have enjoyed how intensely, insanely awesome this thing is. And overall, yeah, like I said, horns up. I expect this to be in the same conversation. I Like, I'm hoping Viral Rack decides after hearing this to do a podcast. I mean, yeah, there's still some issues. Like, even Cold has its issues lyrically in the same sense that Foo Fighters have had, that Dave's probably had with Foo Fighters lately, being the only crutch this album may have. Other than that, this album is a may. Other than that, yeah, I'd say musically, this album still sticks is where it sticks the landing the most because it's primarily the core is still Foo Fighters ish, but every or at least you hear it more obviously in this. It, it's in the same sense as how you would expect from Pro, like if you got liked what Probot was, but wanted something a little bit more extreme and intense. Um, this album do, will probably fit that bell, but maybe, maybe not as much in the writing department as it does seem to be anything post Probot, essentially. It, the writing definitely showcases that kind of a situation and which might be the crutch and why most people will probably pick Probot over this. But I think Dream, this Dream Little project deserves to be in the same conversation as Probot regardless in terms of which Dave metal, in terms of a subject matter of which Dave growl related metal music project is better I, it's i'm just saying it's gonna happen what did you guys think of this album did you think it was worthy of the horns um or maybe you thought it was master class despite even angel with seven rings chorus or whatever um leave a comment below let me know um hope you liked it uh if you like to see the like button thrust him us um um, links description to all my other socials. Uh, um, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell to get all to get to see all my videos, all this other stuff. Also, uh, I probably need to also also look up the burn pit where me and a buddy of mine decide to eat disgusting, eat crazy hot and sometimes nasty foods. Um, if you want to somehow see me suffer for some reason, especially if you hate my opinion on this record. Record or other records, apparently. Just saying. Anyways, take care, y'all. As so always, guys, keep it random. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it rocking. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, y'all.